In an OTDR, fiber section attenuation is typically calculated rather than directly measured. The OTDR uses a technique called time domain reflectometry to measure the amount of light that is reflected from different points along the length of the fiber being tested. Ever heard of echolocation for dolphins? By emitting sounds, when these bounce off, or reflect, as in reflectometry, on an object, the animal knows how far that object is, and its shape, and movement, if any. The emitted signal is sound, and the transmission medium is water. An OTDR is more or less a dolphin in an expo box. In our case, the signal is not sound, but light, hence the word optical. The medium is not water or air, but fiber. A signal, a light pulse in the case of an OTDR, is sent down the fiber, starting a clock. Knowing the speed of light of the fiber, the timing of certain echoes received by the fiber tell us exactly where in the fiber this echo was produced. The various characteristics of this echo help the OTDR identify what it is, and its characteristics. Breaks or connectors create potentially strong reflections, but glass particles throughout the fiber also create a little bit of reflection. This is called Rayleigh backscattering and it is captured by the OTDR. The backscattering reduces as the signal loses energy. The original pulse therefore weakens as it travels. This is called attenuation. The pulse becoming weaker will of course result in weaker backscattering. Comparing this difference in power received at various points, the OTDR can calculate the attenuation. So as you can now tell, attenuation is calculated, not measured. Backscatter is measured as a function of time. This is translated into power variation as a function of distance. A power loss over a certain distance of fiber is called attenuation. Fiber optic attenuation refers to the loss of signal strength as light travels through an optical fiber.